Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Chris Howe, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to shoot and edit a hyperlapse in Premiere Pro. All right, let's talk a little bit about the shooting process. Now, for a beginner time lapse, you're gonna wanna shoot in JPEG and double check that your camera is shooting in an image sequence. Now, most cameras already shoot like this, but make sure you double check those settings or this is not gonna work. In today's beginner example, I'll actually be using my iPhone to get results like this. Now in this case, I prefer to shoot in manual focus. If you have a more advanced phone app or photo app on your phone, you'll be able to do this. And if you're using a mirrorless or a DSLR camera, switch to the M icon. Now you're gonna wanna check if your camera has an interval shooting option. For my mirrorless camera, the Sony a7R 3 it has this already built into it. Or some cameras have a time-lapse mode. If you're shooting on an older camera that doesn't have these features built into it, you're gonna wanna get an interval cable release to be able to capture a time-lapse or hyperlapse. Or you're gonna wanna download an app on your Phone that exports JPEG sequences. I like to use the Moment app. Make sure you guys are shooting in manual mode or you're locking in all your settings such as shutter, ISO, and most importantly, white balance. You don't want that color changing while you're creating your time-lapse or hyperlapse. All right, so let's talk briefly about the hyperlapse shooting process. Now, the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is turn on a grid. Once you figure out your composition, make sure you lock your subject somewhere on that grid and don't move from that spot. And what you're gonna do is either move towards or away from it, but make sure it doesn't move off that grid piece and then you're gonna get the best results. Once you're ready, press start on the interval shooting and then walk at a consistent pace towards your subject or away from your subject and you're gonna get results that look like this. If you wanna make sure that your hyperlapse looks really good, I would highly recommend that you use a gimbal or a stabilizer. All right, so we're gonna talk a little bit about the editing process. This next step is very, very important. When you import all your images from your hyperlapse, put those into a separate folder. So if it's one hyperlapse, from start to finish, all the images in between go into a dedicated folder. All right, so now let's open up Premiere and let's get this hyperlapse working. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is go to File, Import, find the folder that you saved your sequence to, and make sure you have Image Sequence checked. If you guys are on a Mac, you can open up Options to reveal a hidden checkbox. Then import and then drag that image sequence onto your timeline. Now, alternatively, you can use the media browser to import your files. Again, please make sure your image sequence is checked. If you wanna double check that you've imported this correctly, go over to your project panel, click on that image sequence and play it back. If it looks like a time-lapse or a hyperlapse, you did it correctly. For hyperlapses, I like to use the effect Warp Stabilize. When you put this effect on, it will usually have a standard smoothness of 50%. I like a low smoothness, somewhere between five to 10, and then you can restabilize it multiple times to your choosing until it looks good. All right, and that's how you make a beginner hyperlapse. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, please press like and hit subscribe to be notified for future videos, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. As always, a quick ASMR outro.